Alrighty guys, and welcome back to the Air Mech Double Kill Tournament presented by Grizzly Wings, sponsored by Carbon Games, organized by RUI. My name is Steve and this is OPTV Live that you are watching. This is Game 3 of Bracket AB. That is right folks, we have had both uh, uh, Game 1 and Game 2 and we have actually gone full-fledged into Game 3. Um... And interestingly enough, for Game 3, our Team AFK actually picked Sanrim. Personally, I love Sanrim, so I'm really looking forward to see how an, uh, a high-level team such as them uh, plays a map like this. But we do have, this is it, this is the deciding game. This is who goes on in the tournament and who goes home pretty much empty-handed. Because um, we have not reached the point yet of any actual prize distributions other than just a competitor's badge. Um, we have Akros and Valnor once again, Osprey and Stryker going up against Liar and ULA, again Bomber and Helix. We did not really get any changes of uh, these teams as far as their mechs go, their unit loadouts look pretty much similar. So it's really going to come down to a question of since each team won once, clearly each team knows how to handle their mechs, so it's really going to come down to a question of who knows how to capitalize on this map. I'm thinking potentially since Valinor and Acro specifically chose this map, uh, they chose it for certain reasons, and that reason most likely would be is that they feel uh, they feel like they have a, an advantage on here. Quite possible since the fact that at the beginning of the game, Lara and ULA was saying like you know basically you know like whoa Sanrim like they were completely not expecting and unprepared for it, so it's really going to make it very interesting to see whether or not that will translate into a victory or defeat. Um, Taking a look right here, we can definitely see uh, Akros and Valinor. They did not even initially bother trying to get that close outpost. They were so focused on the middle that they did not even worry about their own close. Could have been disastrous had Team Angry Nubs actually focused on trying to get this because they would have had a back, uh, a next door base right to the main fortress. Uh, in some ways, I feel that they lucked out that Liar and ULA did not, and instead of focusing on the on the bottom left. Uh, outpost that's down there um, they do completely secure it clear out all those neutrals that's a lot of neutrals a lot of XP it puts them in a great position and unlike a lot of these maps Sanrim is unique in that even when you get middle it doesn't it gives you an advantage but not quite the same advantage as other maps because you have no way to launch your units from there you have to pick them up and carry them uh, however, Valinor, big, big attack here with those Flamers, completely neutralizing this close. If they secure this close, this could be a very, very short game, folks. Valinor doing what he can. Kind of, I think he's kind of hoping that Akros is going to eventually bring those creeps down. I think now Akros is like, yeah, okay, I got the creeps coming down. Um... A little late on the creeps, Valinor really was doing a lot trying to hold that outpost. Uh, now they're coming in a little bit more coordinated. Akro's bringing in his sets of creeps. Valinor bringing in his sets of creeps. Healing going on, but now ULA and Lyra are much, much more aware and prepared for an attack such as this. And they were able to fend it off pretty well. Uh, working as a team, holding on to this outpost. They do not want to lose these outposts. Right now we're at an outpost count of 3-3. Three to three, A single neutral outpost still on the field in that upper right-hand corner. Uh... Really, at this point, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? I mean, you guys, who do you see as potentially being a, a, a winner here? Uh, start shouting out right now in the chat. Team AFK or Team Angry Nubs, support your team. Shout out. Get this chat pumped up. Because remember, Alexa's not going to drop that 2,000 diamond code unless there's a lot of energy and excitement in this chat. So start calling out for your teams. Valinor with... <laughs> With the tech pod having to bring it all the way back to his main base. Very, very slow and painful trip. Liar, on the other hand, pushing up towards this upper outpost. Using a very similar strategy that he used for the bottom of a bunch of these Geminis. He's coming in with these creeps. This could very well work for them again if they get this outpost. They're in, actually, I would think, a pretty good position because the only thing Team AFK has at this point is this mid. Great place for recharging, great place for ninja drops, but you cannot launch from there. You cannot launch an attack. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see if they can properly secure, if, if Team Angry Nubs can properly secure those two corners, 
how this could potentially affect the game. As, a, as almost on cue as I was saying, that with that middle about all they can do is ninja drops, almost Acro's on cue comes in and starts doing a ninja drop with that Longhorn. Bringing in a single Longhorn, trying to take out that lunch box, realizing that the lunch box is the key as to whether or not these ninja drops work or not. Valinor coming in, single armadillo with a ninja drop of his own, most likely not going to survive very long, other than a moneymaker, really didn't get too much out of that dillo. But uh, I find it wise to never question Valinor's strategy. But uh, take a look at this, guys. Guys, this is it. This is the stuff I've been waiting for, guys. Double train of death coming in. One train from the bottom. Second train coming in from the top. They are just coming in everywhere. Double pronged attack. At the same time, ULA right here at the main base taking out the tech pot. That is a huge takeout for them right there. Right now, ooh, all those heavy mines coming out. We are seeing how effective heavy mines can be used. Acro's trying to use these heavy mines to the best of his ability, doing a lot of damage to these, but they heavy mines, they take a long time to arm before they can be used. And as you can see, all those tanks made it over those heavy mines without taking damage. The tanks from the bottom have finally reached up in the base. Liar's busy trying to distribute it. Guys, could this be it? Can this be Team AFK being knocked out of the tournament? Does Team Angry Nubs move on? Base health is down to 50%. 40%. Are they going to make it? Do we have a GG here? They're going. They're breaking out. Base health down to 20%. But almost all the tanks are gone. They have a few tanks left. 10%. 5%. 3, 2, 1. There is your winner, guys. Team Angry Nubs does move on to the next round of the tournament. Team AFK is eliminated. Fantastic ending match to the tournament. Great, great way to wrap up everything on there. Huge surprise right there. Uh, fantastic, fantastic end of bracket AB. Almost lost my voice right there. So basically, there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a really great, exciting end for you. Uh, so that was game three of bracket AB of the Air Mech Double Kill Tournament.